It's really not surprising that to date in psychiatry, we've mostly been focusing on dysfunction, on avoiding relapse, on reducing symptoms. But we know that people with a condition really also value other outcomes. As much as symptom reduction is important, uh, having a really robust quality of life is even more important. PressBD is a Canadian network with international reach to people with bipolar disorder, their family members and their supporters and healthcare providers. Our mission is to improve the health and quality of life of people living with bipolar disorder through collaborative research and knowledge exchange. I think that it's really most important for us to be asking people with bipolar disorder what they need. And that's something that CRESPD has always done really well. Everything we do, we do hand in hand with people with lived experience of bipolar disorder. I myself live with bipolar disorder and I have since my early 20s. I, I live well with bipolar 2 disorder. I was diagnosed uh, quite a long time ago, about 25 years ago. I bring to the table not just experience as a researcher and professor, but also as a person with lived experience. We know that research done collaboratively with people with lived experience of bipolar disorder and healthcare providers is research done better and research with more potential impact. PressBD pioneered the inclusion of lived experience in all aspects of a research program. And we won many awards for that approach and thus have become the gold standard for how community-based participatory research should occur. And that's giving us the momentum we need to continue our work to this day. We've spent the last 15 years trying to advance the science in psychosocial research and psychosocial treatment with a particular focus on self-management and quality of life. Self-management strategies are really important because they allow a person to bring that power back into their own lives. And it literally allows a person to start to direct their own recovery. This is such an exciting point of time for us. We have good science in hand about self-management strategies and bipolar disorder. We have a evidence-informed system to measure people's quality of life, and we now have all of that information together in one home, the Polaris app. What it really does is measures quality of life for people and gives them tools for self-management to really empower them to improve those quality of life areas. And what I feel really proud about is how they've put lived experience at the center of it and be able to share that information in a way that's easy and accessible for everybody. One of the things that I really enjoy seeing through the app is a lot of hopeful messaging that's centered in the app. And sometimes I need to see that and hear that information so that I can kind of keep going if I'm really even having a difficult time. Stigma and discrimination are real issues for people living with bipolar disorder. We need to help them deal with that. And to do so, we want to chronicle what it's like to live with bipolar disorder and all the benefits and, and good outcomes that come with living with bipolar disorder. We're also looking at new um, ways to use technology to improve our research as well. So we are going to be using in the Polaris research study machine learning techniques to better understand what factors predict quality of life improvements for people with bipolar disorder who use the app. I am really excited about the future of PressBD because I am so looking forward to seeing us reach more people uh, around the world uh, with the launch of this app. And uh, what that means is that being able to impact more people in a positive way, and not just individuals that live with bipolar disorder, but communities, um, loved ones, uh, on a much broader scale. And uh, I think that that's, you can't really ask for more when you're able to actually have research move into knowledge translation and then literally into the hands of people who are supposed to use them. CRESPD is having a big impact in psychiatric research and care. We are tremendously excited to be at this point of time where we have excellent science to share that we believe can improve both research and society for people with bipolar disorder.